to the three or so people that requested this, this is for you. This is going to be a little walk around of my of my 2022 Subaru WRX. Um, I actually filmed this yesterday and I forgot the dead cat so you can't hear anything and I did all of that for nothing. But um, we're gonna do a quick walk around of the 2022 WRX, um, specifically mine, um, which I've been enjoying for the last six or so months. Um, it's just been an awesome car to modify, drive around. I've just been loving it and I might do another video at some point about just uh, some of the things that I really enjoy about it or don't enjoy um, but for now I'm just gonna do a little walk around I've had a, a couple people ask on pictures just what parts I have on it so I'll be going through those um, there's a couple things that I can't really talk too much about I'll let you know which ones those are and then there's a lot of things that I will be doing videos on in the future and I'll let you know which ones those are too here we go we're gonna start in the front and work our way around just as we kind of see parts um, I didn't really make a list, so there's not going to be any real chronological order to this. So first and foremost, the car is paint matched on the fenders, the back bumper, and I painted the front bumper pieces or trim um, in crystal black silica, which matches the uh, sport grill, which I also purchased, and the lower lip, as well as the back trunk trim, um, which comes stock in crystal black silica. So there's gonna be a couple more pieces actually in the future, I also plan on color matching the side skirts white uh, and then they will get a crystal black silica side skirt extension which is meant to match the or look like well, it's an exact replica of the STI ones and we'll get some splitters on the front and the sides as well those are coming um, and I'll make a video on that and that will be how I show how I paint match by myself the side skirts you can save a ton of money doing that and it is uh, really satisfying when you see the end result and realize that you've done it almost as good as a paint shop would um, so here's the Aeroflow Dynamics V2 front lip and I went ahead and put a little STI emblem on there just to make everybody mad because I think that's fun. The car is PPF, ceramic PPF wrapped on the hood and the front bumper. The headlights are wrapped in a, I believe it's a vivid yellow tint um, from Amazon. I can link to that as well. And I just had the, um, the professionals do that one for me because they actually had to cut it in two pieces. And the fog lights are the same story as well. Okay, coming around here, we have the Noble carbon fiber mirror caps, which I think just look stunning. These are Wed Sport TC 105Xs in 18 by 9.5 with a plus 45 offset. Now, these are going to look like they're wider because they are spaced out in the front for the Brembos. Um, and on the Brembos, I will be making an entire separate video on that because I'm actually working on developing the spacers in the back. They are a little bit more specific. Um, I've heard a lot of people toss around that, oh, you just need to space it out. There is a different... Um, there's a different hub centric pattern on the hub than there is the brake. So to do all of that correctly, you have to get those measurements right. And um, I've actually already drawn one up and I'm gonna be sending that out to get that made soon. And hopefully I'll have a couple sets for sale. And then maybe I'll work on doing full brake packages as well. Um, but I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like, but it's an idea and an ambition that I have. So um, we've got the APR extended lug studs in the front. We're gonna be doing that in the rear as well at some point. Then we have the STI six pots in the front and the two pots to match it in the rear. Those are from a 2018 to 2021 STI. Tires are 255, 35 by 18, and those are Toyo Proxy Sports, which I enjoy quite a bit. With this new offset that I have, I am going to try and run 275s at some point. We will see if that works. All right, the windows are tinted, and I am not even going to say what they are because I don't remember. Um, the front is tinted just very slightly, and the sides are tinted, I believe it was uh, 50%. Here's those rear STI two pots. I actually got those refinished by the company that I purchased them from. They have the uh, paint code that matches, or the um, the powder coating code that matches the STI 
factory color, I guess, and this one should hold up a little bit better. I know that over the years they tend to yellow um, as they get sun damaged or heat damaged, so I'm really excited to have these in like the fresh, the fresh green, I guess. Um, the rears currently are spaced out, I believe five millimeters, and then the fronts have the spacing of the, of the rotor spacers. I also have the JDM rear, what are we gonna call it? The reflector delete. Now in the rear, and I love the way this car is looking, but in the rear we have the Aeroflow Dynamics V1 rear diffuser. And then we have the STI S4, we're gonna call it the concept wing because I haven't seen it on any OEM cars, um, but it was revealed at the Japan Auto Show, I believe, and it came just like this. Now, I've had a lot of questions. Are my wing stands backwards? They are not. If you watch the video on the S4 reveal, they are this direction on the STI. And then in that video, you look over to your right where there's nothing here, but um, there's a BRZ in that video. And that one has the exact same wing with those stands flipped to pull it back further. Now, I've tried both ways. I know some people like the way it looks when the wing comes back further. I personally don't. I think this looks um, just more correct i think it looks more oem plus it reminds me a little bit more of the sti wing and how it basically lines up just with the back end of the car it doesn't stick out a bunch it just has a perfect kind of flush look to it and i i really really like this wing and from certain angles i think it just looks great like if you know for pictures and whatnot like you know that's always a great angle currently my reflectors in the rear are missing and i'm putting some overlays on those so those will be in soon and then I also have right here the um, the tail lights have a overlay on them as well to just delete out the white portion of the backup light the exhaust can't quite talk about that yet but in the next couple actually on in like two or three days I'll be releasing a video on that it'll have sound clips it'll tell you exactly what it is and what brand it is and um, it's gonna sound great you guys are gonna love it I think it's a phenomenal exhaust and I'm really really excited to show you guys what it is I also thought I was picking a quiet area but I am right next to a military base and they are starting a ginormous helicopter up over there hopefully you guys can't hear too much of that Okay, so as far as lowering goes, the car is lowered uh, somewhere between an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters. And it's lowered on KW V3s, which we're currently developing. Those are going to be done shortly and hopefully we'll get a kit out to you guys soon as well. Inside the car, there's nothing too special going on there. But let me just show you guys. We've got the Noble Carbon e-brake handle as well as the Cobb weighted shift knob. I know people have been asking how does it feel, it really doesn't feel much different, it's just taller. That's really all I can say to that. And then just a small addition, we've got the STI start stop button cover. Um, now you don't have to go and pay $300 for one of those, there is overlays for them. I believe Noble actually makes those. and. They work just as well, and honestly, I wouldn't even know the difference. I'm gonna show you one last part, and I actually cover this in another video, which I, if I know how to, I'll show you how to link, or I'll show you a link to it. I showed you how to install it, but we also have the Cusco front strut bar, and hopefully we'll be adding a bunch of Cusco parts soon. I already have the lower control arms, which we'll be putting on soon, as well as a Cusco um, pitch stop mount, which we'll be doing, and then hopefully we'll be doing a giveaway on the Cobb one that I currently have in it. And I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Nope, there's no way of seeing it. All right, that's it for now. That's the extent of the parts I've got installed currently on the car. If you have any questions or feedback or just want to let me know what you think about the video, please go ahead and let me know. I'm relatively new to this, so if you have feedback, please let me know in the comments. That's it. I've been enjoying this thing. I think it's an awesome car. I love it. I hope I'm going to keep it for a long time and keep modifying it. 
and we'll keep you updated on any parts we put on it.